Okay, so welcome to Math Storia, and we're going to solve for the missing sides of a special triangle. So these are the two special triangles, the 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees triangle, and the 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees triangle. So we have this given, so triangle ABC is at 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees triangle. The inside C is 26 cm. Find side A and side B. So in the given triangle, so opposite to angle C, that side C, opposite to angle A, that side A, and opposite to angle B, that side B. Since side C is equal to 26 cm, and side A is unknown, and also side B. So to solve for the missing sides of this triangle, we're going to use this trigonometric ratios of special triangle and the three formulas for trigonometric ratios. So in this case, we can use this 30 degrees as our angle or this 60 degrees. So for this given, I'm going to use this 60 degrees as the angle. So therefore, this side is the opposite, this side is the hypotenuse, and this side is the adjacent. So to solve for side A, since side A is the adjacent and the given side is the hypotenuse, so adjacent over hypotenuse, that's cosine theta, and theta is equal to 60 degrees, so we have cosine 60 degrees is equal to adjacent, that's A, over the hypotenuse, that's 26. Then in uh, trigonometric ratios of special triangle, so we have cosine 60 degrees, that's 1 half. So this cosine 60 is equal to 1 half, then equals A over 26. So to solve for A, cross multiplication, this one is 2A equals 1 times 26, that's 26. So to solve for A, divide by 2 both sides. So A is equal to 26 divided by 2, that's 13 centimeter. So this is now for side A. Then for side B, since B is the opposite and the given side is the hypotenuse, so opposite over hypotenuse, that's sine theta, and theta is 60 degrees. So this is sine 60 degrees is equal to the opposite, that's B, over the hypotenuse, that's 26. Then in the trigonometric ratios of special triangle, so we have sine 60 that's square root of 3 over 2. So this sine 60 is equal to square root of 3 over 2, then equals B over 26. Then do cross multiplication, so 2 times B, this one is 2B equals square root of 3 times 26, so that's 26, then square root of 3. So to solve for B, divide by 2 both sides, so cancel, so B is equal to 26 divided by 2, that's 13, then square root of 3 centimeter, so this is now for side B. Then for this given, so triangle ABC is a 45 degrees, 45 degrees, and 90 degrees triangle. Then given side A is 5 cm and find side B and side C. So again, opposite to angle C, that side C, opposite to angle A, that side A, and opposite to angle B, that side B. Since angle A and angle B are equal, so therefore, this side A and also side B are equal. Since side A is equal to 5 cm, so therefore side B is also equal to 5 cm. 
then to solve for side C, since side C is the hypotenuse, so we can use these functions, the sine theta or the cosine theta. And theta is equal to 45 degrees. So we're going to use the sine theta, so we have sine 45 degrees is equal to the opposite, so you can have A and B, and A and B is equal to 5, so that's 5 over the hypotenuse, that's C. Then since sine 45, so sine 45 is equal to square root of 2 over 2, so sine 45 is square root of 2 over 2, that's equal to 5 over C. Then do cross multiplication, so square root of 2 times C, so that's square root of 2 C, then equals 2 times 5, that's 10. Then to solve for uh, C, so divide both sides by square root of 2, square root of 2, so C is equal to 10 over square root of 2. But since the denominator contains a radical, so we need to rationalize. So multiply both sides by that radical on the denominator. So multiply both sides by square root of 2. So this becomes 10 square root of 2 over square root of 2 times square root of 2. This one is square root of 4. Then 10 square root of 2 over, so square root of 4, that's 2. Then simplify, so C is equal to 10 divided by 2, that's 5, square root of 2, centimeter. So this is now for side C. Then for this given, so what is the perimeter of a 30 degrees, 60 degrees, and 90 degrees triangle whose hypotenuse is 8 centimeter long? So, if this is our triangle, and this one is the hypotenuse, which is equal to 8 centimeter, so to solve for the perimeter, we need to find first this side and also this side. So, if this is uh, angle X, so therefore this one is side X. This is angle Y, so this one is side Y. And if this is angle Z, so this one is side Z. So first, we need to solve for side X and side Y. So using these trigonometric ratios of a special triangle and these three formulas for the trigonometric ratios, so in this case, we can use this 60 degrees as the angle or this 30 degrees. So for this given, I'm going to use this 30 degrees as the angle. So therefore, this side is the opposite. And this side is the adjacent. And this is the hypotenuse. So to solve for x, so x is the adjacent. And the given side is the hypotenuse. So adjacent over hypotenuse, that's cosine theta. And theta is equal to 30 degrees. So we have cosine 30 degrees is equal to adjacent, that's x, over hypotenuse, that's 8. Then in the trigonometric ratios of special triangle, so we have cosine 30, that's square root of 3 over 2. So cosine 30 is square root of 3 over 2, that's equal to x over 8. Then cross multiply, this one is 2x equals, that's 8, square root of 3. Then to solve for x, so divide by 2 both sides. So x is equal to 8 divided by 2, that's 4, square root of 3, centimeter. So this is now for side x. Then to solve for side y, so since y is the opposite and the given is hypotenuse, so opposite over hypotenuse, that's sine theta, and theta is 30 degrees. So we have sine 30 degrees is equal to opposite, that's y, over uh, hypotenuse, that's 8. 
Then sine 30, that's 1 half. So this one is 1 half equals then y over 8. Then do cross multiplication. This one is 2y equals 1 times 8, that's 8. Then to solve for y, divide by 2. So y is equal to 4 centimeter. So this one for side y. Then to solve for the perimeter, since the perimeter of the triangle, so the sum of the three sides, so that's side x plus side y plus side z. So side x is 4 square root of 3 plus side y is 4 plus side z, that's 8. So, the perimeter now is equal to 4 square root of 3 plus 4 times 8, that's 12. Or you can uh, change this one to decimal. So, we have 4 then square root of 3 plus 12. So, this is the perimeter, that's 18.93. So this one is 18.93 centimeter. So this is the perimeter of this triangle. Then for this given, so find the missing sides using the special triangle. So if this one is 60 degrees, so therefore this angle is 30 degrees. And if this one is 90 degrees, so this angle is 60 degrees. So first, we need to solve for the side. So we can uh, put this one as x or side x. So using this uh, trigonometric ratios of a special triangle and these three formulas for the trigonometric ratios. So to solve for side x, so this is the given angle. So this one is the opposite, this one is the hypotenuse, and this is the adjacent. So to solve for side x, so we have uh, opposite over the hypotenuse. So opposite over the hypotenuse, that's sine theta, and theta is 60 degrees. So we have sine 60 degrees is equal to the opposite, that's x over the hypotenuse, that's 24. Then using the trigonometric ratios of a special triangle, so sine 60 degrees, that's square root of 3 over 2. So this is square root of 3 over 2 is equal to x over 24. Then cross multiply, so 2x is equal to uh, 24, then square root of 3. So to solve for x, divide by 2. So x is equal to 24 divided by 2, that's 12, square root of 3. So this is uh, for x. So x is 12, square root of 3. So to solve for side A, so since A is the adjacent and the given is the hypotenuse, so adjacent hypotenuse, that's cosine theta, and theta is 60. So we have cosine 60 degrees equals to adjacent, that's A, over the hypotenuse, that's 24. Then cosine 60, that's 1 half. So we have 1 half is equal to A over 24. Then cross multiply, so 2A is equal to 24, then to solve for A, divide by 2 both sides. So A is equal to 12 centimeter. So this is now for side A. Then to solve for side B, so we're going to use this angle to solve for side B. So B is the hypotenuse. This one is the opposite. And this side is the adjacent. Then since x is equal to 12 square root of 3, so therefore this side or the adjacent is 12 
square root of 3. Then to solve for side B, since B is the hypotenuse and the given side is the adjacent, so adjacent hypotenuse, so using this uh, function, the cosine theta and theta is 60 degrees. So we have cosine 60 degrees is equal to the adjacent, that's 12, square root of 3 over the hypotenuse, that's B. Then cosine 60, so cosine 60 is 1 half. So we have 1 half is equal to uh, 12 square root of 3 over B. Then cross multiply. So B is equal to 2 times 12. This one is 24. Then square root of 3 centimeter. So this is for side B. Then for side C. So C is the opposite and the given side is the adjacent. So opposite over the adjacent, that's tangent theta and theta is 60 degrees. So we have tangent 60 degrees is equal to the opposite, that's C, and the adjacent, that's 12, square root of 3. Since tangent uh, 60, that's square root of 3. So this one is square root of 3 is equal to C over 12 square root of 3. Then do cross multiplication. So over 1, that C is equal to uh, 12. Then square root of 3 times square root of 3, that's square root of 9. And square root of 9 is 3. So therefore, C is equal to 12 times 3, that's 36 centimeter. So this is for side C.